Okay, what's your full name? Hey everyone, Gadzi here, Buckshot Prospector. I hope you're well and I hope life is treating you well. I constantly get asked by different people, what gear should I use? What camera gear do you use when you go out filming? I thought maybe we could start something with this. And the thought came to my mind of having a series called What's in My Prospecting Bag. Basically what it is is different uh, prospectors that run their YouTube channels and prospectors in general just share the kits that they take out whenever they go out filming just to help other people that are wanting to get into prospecting and also wanting to get into YouTube to know what kind of gear you need to be able to go out and film. So what I'll do is I'll show you the kits that I take out and the camera gear that I take out and then I'll tag somebody at the end of this video and then they can tag the next person and so on and so forth. So let's get to it. This is the gear that I take out when I go panning. So this is the basic kit. I take shovel, a stumpy pick to get rid of any overburden and dig into any ground that's a bit harder. I have three pans, a classifier, a large pan and a small pan. I take my snuffer bottle. I have three separate yabby pumps. This one, if I'm taking out, I'm going to be using a lot of material, so I will only take this one out by itself. I've got three separate other ones that are a bit smaller. Generally, I'll take two, so these two or these two, generally. And they come with three separate nozzle attachments, so this one will go for the smaller one, and these two are for this yabby pump here. These have plastic tips on them, so you can squeeze them down and you can get into the tighter crevices. I make these myself, um, they're pretty cheap to make. Of course I take a hat, and of course my sweatpants, my waders, because I like to get into deep water. If I don't take these, I take gumboots. This is the basic setup for when I go panning. Now for when I go crevicing. Here's the basic setup that I use for crevicing. Generally I'll still take my three pans and a snuffer bottle. I'll take the crevice pumps as well because they've got the attachments and crevicing, you get into crevicing. I have various crevicing tools. I'll take a crowbar to pry open any uh, rocks. A larger crevicing tool so I can get into deep crevices. Some smaller, thinner crevicing tools. So these have uh, got really fine tips on them. It helps to get down to those really, really thin crevices. I usually take a screwdriver, sometimes two, and they're flat tip screwdrivers to uh, pry open any um, rocks that are in the crevices. These are two new additions. These are uh, crevicing tools that were given to me by Matt from Matt's Metal Fabrication. And sometimes I'll take a steel brush. Not so much uh, one like this, but a thinner one so I can scrape down the crevices. This is the basic setup for doing crevicing. Now I'll show you my metal detecting kit. Here's my basic setup for metal detecting. So of course I've got my Nocta Legend metal detector. Um, I'll take a small coil and I've got the large coil always attached. I've got a utility belt which has different pockets and attachments to uh, put all my gear in and all the junk that I find. I attach a pinpointer to it. I have a digging knife that I put into this as well. I'll take a scoop and of course I'll take a stumpy pick if I'm detecting for gold. I also bring a container to put any finds in the container and any nuggets. I take a brush as well so I can brush down any of the relics that I find. I also take a spray bottle so I can spray any of the dirty uh, relics that I find. And of course, I take a small shovel so I can dig pods with that. So this is the basic setup for metal detecting. Now I'll show you the camera gear that I take. Here's all the camera gear that I use when I go out prospecting and sometimes when I do filming at home. I take my mobile phone to get uh, close-up shots. This is the main camera that I film on now. It's a DJI Action 3 action cam. It's waterproof up to I think about 7 meters. And yeah, it's pretty damn compact and user friendly. I'll carry all that in this little container here. With the action cam, it has three battery packs in it, a selfie stick as well, and a smaller tripod. I used to use this tripod with 
the mobile phone attachment when I was using my mobile phone, but I don't use as much anymore. And I've found the legs on these have a tendency to break after about three or four months of using. I also have a chest mount and a head mount for the action cam. When I film at home, I generally use a larger tripod and I use a DSLR camera for filming any relics. When I film relics, I also use a small electric turntable to display the relics on it as they spin around. I have two wireless mics. I used to use these on the creek, but I found that I don't really need to use it anymore with my new uh, camera, so yeah. And of course, I've got my backpack, which is a 50 liter backpack. It's got heaps of pockets and I can carry anything in this. Apart from all this gear, I also use green screen to film any uh, skits and things like that. These are the basic kits that I take out when I go out filming and I hope it helps some of you that are wanting to get into prospecting and those that are wanting to start up some channels and knowing what kind of gear that you actually need to take to actually film and what have you. I'm hoping this will get through the community and other people that have got YouTube channels can show the gear that they take out. Everyone's welcome to participate in this. Just uh, hashtag it. Hashtag what's in my prospecting bag, but I'm also going to tag somebody else for the next video And that's Chris from Vogus prospecting Chris get in the bag time to show what gear you have and yeah So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. See ya